we're building you a defense. What was the defense that we were using all of last week and the week before that? Last two weeks. Single leg X guard. We were learning the position, setting the position up without any kind of resistance. Then, last week, what did we learn after the position? We had to learn how to enter the position, right? So, let me show you guys a couple things here. Let's review that so everyone can watch at home. So we are learning the position, uh, single leg X. Obviously, when you're uh, facing an opponent, no one's just gonna allow you to walk yourself in here. Hey, pause a little bit, and uh, don't mount me, right? I try to do this, this, uh, 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 right? No. Okay, we, we have to learn how to shoot our hips up, get the position, then after the position was uh, captured, we, we uh, showed you guys how to off balance. Okay, now last week, we talked about how to get to that position. X guard, the single leg X is an open guard. So, being that it's open and you don't have a hold of a person, that means you on the bottom, you always have to be what? Readjusting. Always moving. If he moves that way, move a little bit. I gotta be able to face and move him. He steps forward a little bit, I either go in, like just step forward, like one foot. If he steps forward, I either have to decide, do I move back or do I engage? And then from here, how do I get involved in uh, starting to fight the person, right? So I showed you guys how to do ankle to ankle, shin to shin, right? You pull right here. If a person is standing up, you put your hand right here and you pull him in and you lift the foot up, causing him to go on one foot. When he's on one foot, then it's easy for you to have this entry and go into your single leg X. Now that you have it, Remember the details of the single leg X. You have to have your knee blocking from coming in, right? You have to you use your hands, grab him, control his posture, move all the way up. So, here, I'm here at fight, I'm using this, and I'm making Elijah focus on here. He's now gonna get his posture back. When he tries to get his posture back, that's when I go for off balances. Right? So, a couple other entries and other concepts that we worked, just reveal here. We go right here, and then we try to set up shin on shin and bring this, but in this case, he's able to drive his knee on my chest, and it, right here, and he pins me. And then his hands are like right here, and it's heavy. Right? And now, my knee's here, He's pushing it down and he's going to full mount, right? We learned how to deal with situations like this. If a person attempts to go and pin you down through the middle like this, I showed you guys ways to tip them forward here and then get up, get to the outside and rest up and take the back. So now you're in a whole different situation. You guys are both wrestling, but now you're, uh, you're, you're on your knees, but now you're behind him. In a, lot, in a lot of tournaments like Naga, if you're in the front here like this, they don't give you no points. But if you get behind the hips, hips to hips, they give you this as technical points because you have a position on him. You have his back. Right here. Going back to situations where that person is pinning you, go ahead. He pins you here, and it's like this. So I showed you the options. How, what can you do from here? If you can't throw him forward, you pull him all the way in with this hand on the, uh, on the other leg. You pull him in on like this, then you push him away. Then you shoot your single leg X. Uh, this time, uh, Elijah, try not to fall as I do that and maintain your balance just a little bit. So you're here. I, uh, Elijah is coming forward, putting me here. Before he mounts me, 
I actually pull on his knee to me like this. See, with this hand here, I, I have a small amount of time to bring my knees here and then go towards the ankle and then get myself a single leg X. We also learn different variations of sweep from single leg X. Okay, single leg X sweeps, we have, we can get here, uh, depending on how he's standing. So Elijah's standing really tall over me, so it will make it really easy to like off balance and be like this. Uh, stand up. We have that, but if, uh, if Elijah steps back more like staggered and lowers his base a little bit, so it's really hard to swing him here and off balance him. So I have to push into him like this, making his body straight, making his legs straight, and then turn, and then I'll balance him this way. We also learn about follow-ups. We get up, after we sweep, we move to the side, we engage and we pass. So we cover those stuff, 